Carolyn Doobie here with January's Colorful Jelly Print Party. As I get set up, I'm just going to grab some scrap paper to put over there to clean my brayer off on. It has a piece cut out of it, and it's just scrap, right? Well, you know, everything that you do with the paint and the jelly plate, sometimes you get something you really like. So, and this is going to be one of those days where I really like what's on that scrap paper. Well, using the six by six jelly plate today, I am putting small dabs, dots, globs, blobs of paint in different places on the jelly plate. I'm starting by doing opposite corners and then I'll fill in the middle. Put a little bit in the dot, put a lot in the dot. If you've seen my videos, you know I'm just not that precise. Whatever comes out, comes out. I'm gonna be using a brayer and I am using a smaller brayer any soft rubber brayer will work for this. And as I pull back on it, I am not going to actually try and mix the paint a lot. I'm going to leave those wonderful blobbies and then I'm going to clean my brayer off and look at this great paper that you get. Even though my brayer kind of stuck and dragged on that first line, now I'm just going to kind of keep playing with this and blending the colors around. And I'm going to end up creating another piece of paper over here that I really like. And even though this was scrap paper that had a piece already cut out of it, and I really didn't think I'd like it this fast, that little cutout is just an oops too. However I end up using this paper, that cutout will take me somewhere I was meant to go. I just don't have to understand it right now. That's the beauty of the oops. But now let's get the print off of this jelly plate. So I'm going to put down my paper. I'm using old scrapbook leftover paper. I'm using the white side of it. And there's my first print. Vibrant. I love the fun sort of modern feel to this one. Now I'm going to grab another scrap, also a piece of cut paper, and uh, I'm going to pull up the next print from this, and it too is going to come up pretty vibrant. So two very strong prints from this, still paint on the jelly plate, so I'm just going to use the other side of this paper. And what I'm going to get is a little bit fainter than the, the one before it, because you know that's how it works with the jelly prints. I still have a little bit of paint on there, so I'm going to start putting down the paper and just filling in blank spots with a little bit of paint from this. In the end, I'll create a larger piece of paper that has a random feeling pattern to it. When I do things like this that have paint blobs or large shapes in them, my muse tends to give me other things to look at. And my muse has been particularly happy lately because of all the people that have been so kind and wonderful in sharing my videos, subscribing to my YouTube channel, finding me over on Google Plus or on Facebook. So thank you because all of that stuff does a wonderful job of supporting that muse and getting her to come back and inspire me and get me playing. And in this, I see two kind of crazy animals sitting there having a conversation with some extremely big ears and there's a tail on one. The cool part about things like this is what I see with this may not be the same thing that you see with it. So I'd love it in the comments if you would tell me what you're seeing in it. And of course, this is for the jelly party and we have a link party open all month long over on the blog. So I'd love it if you'd come over and take a look, link up what you've made with the jelly plate recently and check out what other people are making. See you at the party.